Amelia, where I work to create programs that help kids grow as innovators. I'm here with today's project challenge. For this challenge, you'll create an eye-catching outdoor art piece using at least 20 collected natural objects. To do this, you'll need to be reflective by thinking about how to use colors, patterns, and shapes to make your sculpture as eye-catching as possible. Come on, I'll show you how to get started. You'll need at least 20 natural objects. You can find them around your yard or while walking. If you want to take a picture of your final sculpture, you can also get a camera, but that's totally optional. First, you'll want to pick an outdoor area for your sculpture. It can be a public space like a park or a beach or part of your personal space like your front yard or your backyard. Now it's time to be reflective. You'll need to collect at least 20 natural objects in the space you've chosen for your sculpture. Think about what kinds of objects you can collect to make a sculpture that stands out. Maybe you'll want to collect all things of a particular color so that you can make a pattern. Maybe you'll want to collect objects that are really unique in shapes. Maybe you'll even find some things on a walk as you decide what you want your sculpture to look like. Next, you'll arrange your objects in a sculpture that you want to design. If you're stuck, just start by putting your favorite object in the center and start building out from there. Then, step back and reflect on how it looks. Think about what you can add or redesign to make it stand out even more. Does it need more of one color or type of object? Maybe a contrasting color. Should it be bigger, smaller, a different shape? Maybe you'll even want to challenge yourself to make it three-dimensional. Collect more materials if necessary. Your sculpture will be an awesome temporary artwork that others passing by can enjoy. It won't last forever, but if you want to document your sculpture, you can photograph it. If you do this, it's another great time to be reflective by thinking about what angle is most eye-catching. That's it for this challenge. If you created some reflective nature art, we'd love for you to share a video or photo of it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. 20 natural objects that you find in <laughs> the